This year, the millennials, the age group of 18 to 34, are replacing the baby boomers as the largest demographic in the workplace. And how do you go about managing the millennials? I'll talk about that in this video. Hello, I'm Steven Goldberg, bringing you practical tips and ideas on leadership, team development, and personal performance in the workplace. How are the millennials, the 18 to 34 age group, different to manage than any other group of employees? Well, according to an article that I just read, which inspired me to do this video, they're different. They seem to have a different outlook on life, different values, and different needs. But from my perspective, that's the case with every human being. Just because you're a specific age, to me, doesn't make you a certain type of person or have a certain motivation or need. Every human being is different. And I look at it according to the type of person that they are and what intelligence is most dominant. And I like to adapt my leadership style to that type or intelligence. One thing that stood out in this article, which I have a link to in the description of this video, is that they'd rather be coached than managed. The coaching style of leadership is the most effective for all types of people. And that coaching type of style requires you to adjust your style to the needs of the person and the situation. So how do you do that? Well, to achieve that, you need to understand the people who you're managing or who you're leading. And so you need to take time to explore and understand what are their motivations, what are their concerns, what are their objectives on a personal and professional level. This way you could tailor your coaching to not only meet their goals, but the goals of the job as well. A manager, in contrast, is one that creates standards, norms, uh, probably the organization already has them or creates their own procedures and expects the employees to follow them. And their job as a manager is to make sure that they're doing it. Now that's not always the most effective thing to do, but sometimes you need to be a manager. So really the idea is to balance coaching and management as a leader and to lean more towards a coaching style of leadership. One of the most important things to becoming a coach or adapting a coaching style of leadership is to know that you need to take time with people. So this means one of your motivations has to be people. You have to be interested in the concept of working with people, developing them, and not really so much to control them, but really to empower them and have them become the best they can be in their role. And this will be a winning formula, whether it's for millennials or any other age group in the workplace that wants to be empowered. I hope this makes sense to you and that you'll start adapting a more coaching style of leadership. Thanks for listening, and we'll talk again soon. I hope you find these tips useful. Here's some videos that are related that you can watch right now. Subscribe to our channel to get news of new videos as they come out. Thanks for listening and talk again soon.